what are their current emotions towards you? So energy is always shifting and changing. So spirit, in this moment, for the viewer, the person that the viewer is thinking of, what are their emotions towards the viewer, please? So this will be a collective reading. If you would like a personalized reading, then you will find a link in my bio to same day readings. And I do have a March special. Spirit for the viewer, the emotions that the person the viewer is thinking of. What are their emotions towards the viewer? We have the seven of pentacles, the nine of rods, the page of cups, the ace of cups, the six of cups, and the two of pentacles. This person is full of emotions for you. So for those of you that are maybe new to tarot, cups very much represent feelings, dreaming, love, and emotions. So let's go through these cards together. I'm going to start here with the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups to me has always been the wild card of tarot, saying expect the unexpected. You may have come as a very unexpected gift to this person. And with this reading predominantly being Cups, you are such a gift to them. In combination with the Ace of Cups, this could be indicating that this is a relatively new relationship perhaps within the last year. And this is a love that has the potential to mature. It really quite has the energy of that first type of puppy love. Very cuddly, very sweet, and very vulnerable. I feel a lot of excitement as I look at these cards. Therefore, I really do believe that this person is also extremely excited about this love. I hear the words, it's like being teenagers all over again. Or maybe this is the type of love that makes you question whether you had really loved anyone else before. And that is how this person may feel about you. That this love is different. It's fresh. It's youthful. It feels exciting. And yet with the seven of coins, there is this energy of it also being very grounded. The Ace of Cups speaks of unconditional love, and that is a most beautiful love to experience. One where you can completely be yourself, to be able to be completely authentic and natural, and the other just adores you for it. So this person not only feels this when they are in your presence, the unconditional love that you offer, but also they mirror this back to you. Now I had said a few moments earlier that perhaps this love makes you question whether you have loved before. And as I look a little closer at this card, we see the words, no one. There is absolutely no one else like you to this person. No one even comes close to the love that they are experiencing towards you. And then we have the Six of Cups. A card to me that shows that you are mirror images of one another. What we see above is simply reflected below. Now, if you were to Google the meaning of the Six of Cups, then there would be a number of different explanations. And one of those will say that this is possibly somebody from the past returning. So that may be the case for some of you. So for those, this is someone that has never truly gotten over you. For others, this is showing that this could be a soulmate, someone with whom you have lived many past lifetimes. And for those, this relationship feels incredibly natural. You have probably worked out all of the kinks in other lifetimes, and it is just like being reunited with your soul's best friend. So this person, they may see you as a soulmate. And I believe that they have great admiration for you. If we look at each of the bottles, we can see the words labs on them, which makes me think of experiences and tests that you may have experienced. 
and those tests and experiences have made you only the sweeter and only the wiser. This person very much looks up to you. You and they may be continually talking. It is very sweet and maybe even mischievous energy between the both of you. So yes, this person thinks of you as sweet and they're very nostalgic about you, but they are also incredibly serious about you with the seven of coins. This is someone who wants to invest long term with you. This is someone who wants to put down roots. The seven of pentacles speaks of a seed or an idea that has been planted and then watching it come into maturity. Hence the idea that this person wants to create something with you and see it to its fullest potential. With the two of pentacles, they may see you as two peas in a pod. Now I know that that is not the traditional meaning of the two of pentacles, but it is something that I see every time that I look in this card. I see two that are identical and equally balanced. Within the pentacle, we see the illustration of the heart. Two individuals whose worlds have collided in the most beautiful way possible. For some reason, I also see this card as a womb card. So for some of you, this person may think about having children with you. The space between the pentacles to me indicates that there could be distance between you physically. And this person may be wondering how to bring the both of you together. The Nine of Wands is a card that has come up so frequently within my collective readings recently. It is a card that speaks of resilience and of doing whatever it takes to achieve one's goals. And you may very well be an example to this person. Within the illustration, we see these beautiful daffodils, some of the first flowers to bloom after the cold winter. Their symbolism corresponds with the card and does speak of this resilience. It speaks of desire and of creativity, forgiveness and vitality, all of which you have in heaps, according to this person. So in summary, what emotions does this person have towards you at this time? Certainly an infinite amount of love, one where they feel a deep soul connection. They feel towards you like they have not experienced with another. And this person is most definitely willing to speak that. Pages are known as the messengers of tarot. So I believe that this person does not hide their feelings. And while there is this sweet, playful energy, there is a very serious side. And one where they will want commitment. If this is currently in the beginning stages, then this has the opportunity to bloom and to manifest into something beautiful, is what this person believes. They feel that the both of you are extremely compatible with the Two of Pentacles, that there is an easy balance between the both of you. And the combination of the Two of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands suggests that you will have decisions to make, but they are circumstantial. This person believes that all of those can be overcome with the nine of rods. That love will find a way and nothing is too difficult. This person has a very clear mindset and a very positive outlook on this particular relationship. Once again, if you would like a personal reading, then there is a link in my bio to same day readings and I have a special for the March forecast in love and luck. The links to both can be found in my bio.